third-party monitoring tools? Yeah. A proliferation of standalone technical products offered by third-party vendors oh, has made possible new investigative practices and surveillance technologies. <laughs> Some products marketed to law enforcement today were initially designed for commercial or journalistic use. Oh. Now, for example, the SAS's text miner promises yeah, to discover underlying themes and concepts of text in order for businesses to analyze customer comments online. Oh. But others like it are now being adopted to local law enforcement. Now, could you get me all the uh, social media? Yes. Surveillance technology right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did any of them find the word kidnapping? Uh, let's see. Forgery? Yes. Fraud? Pooh. I mean, if I purchase law enforcement surveillance technology to surveillance social media. Yeah. And I have the availability of all the social media posts of all of those in Clallam County. Yes. Is there any possibility that the text, mm -hmm. you know, for the idiots that are in the employment of Congress, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you did your advertising for your campaigns on my Facebook profiles. Ooh. Somebody paid to advertise to all the individual voters in Clallam County yeah, that they were running for office. Oh, now let's say we're having a war right now. What are the greatest uh, profitability generators of news media? Mm. I would say war and elections. Isn't that right? Oh. The last time we had an election, it was said that there was a half a billion dollars. Yes. $500 million was spent on both Hillary's campaign. Yes. And Donald's. <laughs> and then all those other individuals that want to be elected to office. <laughs> now, I would think airtime gets more expensive the closer we get to the election. Yeah. <laughs> and when I look at the social media as well as the actual media that runs all those commercials. <laughs> you got to fucking <laughs>